Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be exporting 3D from Blender into Godot 3. In Blender, the first thing to note is the grid. So whenever we change the size of the grid from say meters to centimeters, you're also changing the size of the model. Fortunately, this doesn't actually have an effect exporting from Blender to Unreal 4. One unit in Blender will end up equaling a meter in Unreal 4. You should really only worry about building your model to a real world scale, or at least a consistent unit. Now before we export, we want to make sure that we zero out all of our transforms. And the way that we do that is making sure that we're in object mode. We go to object, apply, and then we want to come to all transforms. And what that's going to do is it's going to zero out all of your transforms and set your scale to one. This way we have clean numbers to work with in Unreal 4. Unreal 4 accepts two different file types, FBX and OBJ. So we'll start with exporting an FBX. We want to go to file, export, FBX, and then you want to navigate to where you want to save this and you want to give it a name. Right now I'm saving this to a source art folder so I can keep my source art and my import separate. Next we want to take a look at some of the selections down here. You want to make sure that your scale is set to 1, your forward axis is negative Z forward, and your up axis is Y up. Next we'll take a look at geometry. You can turn on apply modifiers, but if you had any modifiers before this step, I would recommend doing that before this. And then under animation, we want to make sure that we turn off baked animation. If you're looking to export animation, that'll be in a different video. And then we're ready to export. Now coming back over to Unreal 4, we want to import and we want to navigate to where we save that file. And then we'll open it up. Now in your import settings, we want to make sure that we have convert scene turned on. This will make sure that the FBX system is converted to the Unreal 4 coordinate system. And then this is a personal preference, but under materials, I make sure that I'm not importing materials and I'm not importing textures. We usually prefer to import those and create materials at a different step. And then we'll import. Next, we want to make sure that this imported correctly. So we'll drag our model out and we'll set it between some of these checkers here. Each one of these checkers are about a meter long. So in Blender, we can see that our model is two by two units. And in Unreal, we can see that this is also two by two units or two meters by two meters. And then in our transforms, we can see that our rotation is zeroed out and our scale is set to one. So this imported correctly. Next, let's export an OBJ. So we want to go to File, Export, Wavefront, OBJ. And then once again, we want to navigate to where we want to save this and we want to give it a name. Now the OBJ settings are very different than FBX. We want to make sure that animation is turned off. We want to make sure include edges and smoothing groups are turned on. If you have UVs, you want to include your UVs. You want to write your normals, and personally, I'm not going to write materials. Next, we have triangulate faces. This is another option that I don't recommend turning on. If you need to triangulate your model, you should do it before getting to this step. And then the scale, we actually want to set the scale to 100. OBJ is built to export at a scale of 1, which comes out to be 1 centimeter. And for consistency between Blender and Unreal, we want to set this to 100, and that'll give us meters. And then in this case, we want to change the forward axis to Y forward and up to Z up. And then we're ready to export. We'll come back over to Unreal, we'll click on import, and then we'll navigate to where we save the OBJ file. And now once again, we'll make sure that we have convert scene on, we don't want to create materials, and then we'll click on import. And then to make sure it was imported correctly, we'll drag it out. And then once again, we can see that this is two by two units, and then in Blender, also two by two units, so this is correct and then the rotation and the scale are zeroed out. So this imported correctly. Now from here, I would recommend that you don't use OBJ. It's kind of an outdated file format. You most likely want to use FBX all the time. All right guys, that covers exporting 3D from Blender into Godot 3. If you guys thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.